Many years ago, I started an instructional series in regards to tarps and their setups. Now recently, I started that back up again, and today I have another episode for you. In this episode, I wanna discuss setting up a tarp in windy conditions and when and when not to use regular tent stakes. There are times when you're out on your adventure when you're using a tarp where you need to put those away and use something much more substantial. As I get the tarp out and begin the setup process, I will discuss with you all why that is. When it comes to a tarp in the wind, think of it as a sail. It is collecting, it's catching every bit of wind there is, every bit of a breeze is hitting that and is exerting an extreme amount of pressure and force on your tent stakes or whatever it is that you are using to anchor your tarp. A blowing tarp can and will easily pull regular tent stakes out of the ground, even with a slight breeze. And that's because as the wind blows, the tension rises and it lessens. That tent stake is moving around. It's making the ground softer. It is working its way out. It doesn't take long for it to become dislodged. If you're heading out for a trip and you're lucky enough to have pleasant conditions, tent stakes work well. If there's a breeze, if it's forecasted to get windy, if there's a chance of strong storms, you should put your regular tent stakes away and either use more substantial tent stakes or make your own. There are other methods which I have spoken about in previous episodes, such as bracing and whatnot. Now that we have the tarp set up and we are using tent stakes to begin with, let's talk about the arch nemesis to the tarp. That is wind. Tarps are exceptionally strong. They're very efficient, very easy to set up most of the time shelters, but their one Achilles heel is that they are easily influenced by the wind. And that is why every person who is going out for an adventure with a tarp must take the proper precautions to set it up correctly. With an improper setup or a change in the weather conditions, a tarp can become a sail. And something to keep in mind, folks, is that not every setup is an improper one. Sometimes you can have a proper setup for the conditions, but those conditions change, and that's when it doesn't fit the situation that you're in. In situations like that, the thing to do is to get out and to change your setup. But there will be times where that is not ideal, it's not possible. That's why it's best to prepare if there's any chance of bad weather or a change in conditions. And that is one of the reasons why this video and the instructions that I'm providing within it are so important. It really can be the difference between having a good night in a tarp or having a night where something catastrophic happens. With this tarp set up here, I completed this roughly five minutes ago. I've been talking to you all. During that time, this tent stake here has gotten to the point of failure and is doing a wonderful job of proving my point. As you can see here, the tent stake has moved from this initial point. The wind has pulled it all the way over to here. This tent stake is about to come out of the ground, as you can see. Just a little bit more wiggling and it would be loose. Without a doubt, this is an extreme example. The way that I've set this up basically maximizes the wind collection. I could have changed this. I could have done an A-frame. Essentially means that this thing would have been half as tall, right? Sloped down. But still, all of that wind would have been coming this way, hitting the front side and pulling at the front stakes. If the wind direction would change, it could potentially go through the side, push on the back, or if the wind was coming this way, it would be hitting the backside and pulling those stakes. And now that we've seen the issue with using tent stakes in windy conditions, let's focus on a solution. As I was preparing for the next shot, the tent stake on the other side of the tarp came undone. And again, this is a good example of what to expect and what happens in windy conditions. This right here will do just fine. That's a good diameter and also a good length. Now for my situation here, I need two stakes. Now check these out. They are about 15 inches long. I use my saw to cut these and that is so that I have a flat location to use my hatchet to bang it into place to baton it into place. You don't have to use a hatchet, you can use another stick or whatnot. So now that I have these, I need to put a point on them. It doesn't have to be the world's best point. You can use your knife, whatever tool it is that you have with you. Perfect. Nice and simple and quick.
for this demonstration, we're at the point now where it's time to use our new tent stakes. Before going any further though, let me give you all some advice. Every tent has a tie-off point or multiple tie-off points. Do not use those points to stake out the tarp. Always attach a guy line. If you take a stake, you attach here, you put it into the ground, the fabric will stretch over time. And that means that you will have to pull the stake out of the ground and restake it. As you do that, you are weakening the ground all the way around that area. You are making it looser. So what happens? It makes it easier for that tent stake to come out. What you want to do is to make sure that you have plenty of guy lines so that when you stake it out, you can simply wrap it around your stake instead of having to move the stake itself. That's very important. While filming this video, which does take some time, these stakes have taken turns coming out of the ground. You can see one hole, two hole, three holes <laughs> that have been made here. And that's because these tent stakes simply aren't up to the job. They are not capable of holding this tarp into place. That is where this stake comes into play. Now I'm taking my hatchet, hammering this into place. If you didn't have a flat top here, this hatchet would bust this stick to a billion pieces. The deeper you can get this stake into the ground, the better. That is perfect right there. Now check that out. That is 100% secure. That is not going anywhere. The other stakeout point was right here. Now this is very loose dirt. There's been leaves in this spot for a very long time. It's very mulchy, it's very, very loose. That is one reason why the tent stake didn't work. And that is why using these type of stakes is so important. There will be times where the ground is soft or it's too sandy, where you need a stake like this. For this stake, it's especially important to go as deep as possible because the ground here is so soft and it's very soft for inches and inches. Slow and steady with the batoning is very important, especially if you're using a soft wood. A soft wood like this could bust very easily. If you're using a hard wood, you can be a little bit more impactful with your swings. Before saying goodbye, everyone, make sure to check the playlist which I have set up here on the channel. I have playlists for just about every single topic, tents, sleeping pads, military backpacks, civilian backpacks, how to's and more. I also have a playlist on tarp setups, including the bracing instructional video. Again, bracing is a fantastic technique. It's a good skill to have. It's not something that you could use in all situations though. So make sure to watch that video. In the matter of minutes, we've gone from a very unstable tarp setup to one that is 100% secure. This thing is not going anywhere. It would take a hurricane to pull those new stakes out of the ground. In this episode, I've shown you all really good examples. Thank you, Mother Nature, for making it windy today, where your average tent stake is not the best product to use with your tarp setup. Now, folks, there are very long, very robust tent stakes out there. Some could be extremely long, good for soft soil, sand, snow, and so on. But if you don't want to spend the money, if you don't want to carry those like I don't, you can easily make your own and I just showed you how. Um, let's see here, any other points to mention? Uh, yes, when it comes to stakes, it really is all about the length. The length is the most important aspect. With those small little five inch long stakes, they're simply not going to cut it, especially with a setup like this. Talking about setups, every setup is going to be different. The way that the wind impacts that setup is going to be different. Also, the size of your tarp is going to play a big role and how much area that wind has to push on. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts about this video, and share any tips that you may have. This is a community, we are one, and we are here to help each other out. If you have a question that wasn't answered in this video, feel free to email me, I'm happy to help you out. Everyone, take care, strength and honor. I will see you all in the next upload. See ya.